The work for Hota is essentially a kind of guardian or protector figure. When I was thinking about the kinds of figures, sculptures or even imagery that frame the entrance of places of civic importance, I think it's very seldom that you see something that might be provocative in some ways. I was really interested in this language, particularly around the Asia Pacific, where, you know, these kinds of almost fierce guardian figures would be placed at entrances. The idea was that that kind of fear and ferocity and energy was a welcome gesture. Making the work involved a number of processes. It's primarily made from bronze, but it also incorporates concrete, neon and fiberglass. As an artist, I'm mainly concerned with hand-based processes, and I'm really interested in that narrative of material transformation. When I conceived this work, I was really looking at the nature of colonial bronze statuary that has been prominent in Australia since you know the early 19th century. I think what's really interesting about those is that there's this kind of larger than life, hyper-masculine, patriarchal sentiment. And I wanted to kind of use that language in a way that was a bit more evocative or imaginative, but also spoke to the potential for parallel or other kinds of history. Specifically in the last year or two years or so, a lot of the imagery that was circulating on the internet where these monuments were being toppled, this image of a decapitated or pushed over monument, this kind of powerful symbol of like removing a head was quite interesting. So if you look at the sculpture, you can see this new head that got placed on it that almost doesn't belong. And I thought that kind of draws attention to the fact that culture can change and move and shift. Thematically, one of the key things I was looking at was this notion of gender or species neutrality. The work, it's kind of very amorphous, it's fluid. You can swap the head out, you can swap the little companion out. And that kind of modular constructedness drew attention to this idea of infinite possibilities. Commissioning new work is one of the primary ways we can support living artists. So I wouldn't have been able to create a work like that if it wasn't for the Melbourne Art Foundation and HOTA Commission. These opportunities for artists provide this really amazing opportunity to push your work outside how you'd normally conceive it.